Hello, everybody. This is Edgar Winter. You're in the Groove Yard with Tom Grooms. Who will save the planet? <laughs> That's a good question. We've tried. We've done our best, and we'll continue uh, on that front. But, uh, you know, Woodstock uh, changed my life, uh, and, and that was a good attempt. I was going to say, you made your entrance in between the band and Blood, Sweat, and Tears in 1969 in Woodstock. That must have been a tough spot. A lot of people don't even know you were there, but you were there. I was there, and uh, w of course with my brother Johnny. And at that time, uh, no one knew that I existed. Nobody knew Johnny had a brother. And he'd do the first part uh, of the show with his blues trio. And now I'm going to bring on my little brother Edgar. I'd walk on, ah, oh, there's two of them. But, uh, you know, the, the thing about Woodstock was that the whole thing being set against the social backdrop of civil rights and the peace movement, people writing and singing songs that they truly believed in. But for me, just on a personal level, when I say it changed my life, uh, I didn't necessarily mean politically, but for me as a musician, I had been a serious musician, uh, and thankfully I gotten over that. <laughs> but uh, I really, uh, I loved jazz and classical and never had any particular desire to uh, be famous. But when I saw Woodstock, just that moment of looking out over this endless sea of humanity and seeing all of these people united in, in that unique way, it made me realize that music was a lot more than just my personal private escape world. We had the 50th anniversary coming up. I spoke with Graham Nash two weeks ago. He says he doesn't think we can do it. I said, we've got to go back to the future. We <laughs> need it. We definitely need it. After Woodstock and you made your entrance, you did a little road work. You're still on the road. You're on that Rebel Road in 2016. You got Absolutely. a new, new CD. You're going to play a track from it before you split here in the Groove Yard. Tell us about uh, Rebel Road. Well, you know, we've done a lot of biker shows, and I've always felt that rockers and bikers uh, shared a great deal in common. Uh, we're uh, definitely not nine to fivers, and uh, we have a certain disregard for the powers that be uh, authority figures. And, you know, it's just my way of saying I'm not going to be told who I am or what I'm supposed to believe. And, uh, yeah, for better or for worse, we're on a rebel road. You're in the Grooveyard. We're on location at the Ramset on stage. I'm Tom Grooms, our guest multi-instrumentalist and rock and blues legend, Mr. Edgar Winner. He has a new record out, Rebel Road. You can buy it online at your website. What's ahead for you? Well, uh, music. <laughs> Love. Uh, uh, you know, my wife, Monique, and I have been married 37 years now. Not bad for rock and rollers. Uh... I, uh, I have a book of poetry that, uh, that is dedicated to my wife, Monique, that started out as uh, uh, unused song lyrics. I was going to call it the songs that never were. But I just found uh, the, an immense uh, sense of uh, liberation writing poetry as opposed to writing songs. So that's one thing. Then I, I've got like a... Uh, I may be doing an, a record... Uh, I've been asked to do a blues album, and I may do a Texas blues. There are so many great Texas blues men, and uh, uh, that may be the next project. A very quick story. When I met Johnny, I played him a track Sonny Terry did for me on location. Oh, really? And he says, who's playing harp with him? And I said, it was some white guy, and that's how come he did the interview, because he said the two of them <laughs> didn't get along, and he knew Brownie wasn't playing with him. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, uh, you think about, like, uh, T-Bone Walker, Gatemouth Brown, uh, Freddie King, Lightning Hopkins, uh, Blind Lemon Jefferson, uh, Johnny Guitar Watson. There's so many great Texas blues guys, so it, it, would, uh, it would be a nice tribute. I love the whole Texas thing, and I'll get to do a, some songs by my brother Johnny. Well. I hope when you come through D.C. next time, you can come by the radio station, set love up to. some tracks, play some blues. Yeah. Thank you so much, Edgar. Break a leg here at the Rams. You're more than welcome. Keep on rocking! Thank you, sir. <laughs>